the Silurian period occurred from 443.8 million to 419.2 million years ago. It was the Paleozoic era's third phase. The Silurian was named by Murchison in 1839 for the Silures, a tribe of the Welch borderland. It came after the Ordovician era and before the Devonian era. Continental land masses were low at the time and sea levels were rising. This resulted in a plethora of novel biological niches in shallow water habitats. Silurian fossils reveal significant reef construction and the earliest traces of life colonizing new estuaries, freshwater habitats, and terrestrial environments. Gondwana, the supercontinent, had moved southward and covered the majority of southern latitudes. The northern half of the world was mostly water, with two tiny continents near the equator, Laurentia, and Baltica. Avalonia, another microcontinent, rifted off Gondwana's northern margin and drifted northward. The three northern continents clashed beginning in the late Ordovician and continued through the Silurian and into the Devonian, establishing the new supercontinent, Euramerica. The Caledonian Orogeny, a massive mountain building event, came from this collision. The hills and mountains of Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and the northern Appalachians, as well as the mountains of Sweden and Norway, are remains of this event. Talking about the marine life of the era, in the waters, the comeback was quick, since rising temperatures and sea levels mimic the shallow, marine ecosystems of the past. Huge reef systems thrived in the clear, tropical oceans, as evidenced by the numerous limestone rock formations that date from this time. Corals and prehistoric sponges known as stromatoproids joined previous reef builders such as bryozoans to construct a hard outer skeleton. They only ate minuscule organisms ensnared in their stinging tentacles to stay alive. Oceans abounding with microscopic planktonic animals aided the growth of corals and other marine life. The terrifying Eurypterids, or sea scorpions, were waiting at the opposite end of the food chain. Some species reached lengths of more than 6 feet, 2 meters, and are regarded as the world's biggest arthropods. Eurypterids possessed a pair of enormous, complex eyes for looking for primitive fish, which they caught with their formidable claw-like pincers, similar to their scorpion ancestors. Flora and fauna on land also started to develop. On land, creepy crawlies began to appear. They started off little, measuring only a few millimeters in length. Arthropods such as early centipedes and arachnids, the progenitors of spiders, were among the first terrestrial pioneers. Some 430 million years ago, the first real plants began to take root on land. They developed hard stems, which allowed them to stand erect, as well as tubular tissues, which are found in all vascular plants and allow water and nutrients to be transported. Although these early immigrants lacked leaves, mosses and other plants soon followed, producing a thin covering of waterside vegetation that encouraged additional aquatic species to migrate to land. Possible rocks of Silurian age are found in what has in the past been called the Ellis Formation. This has been discovered in many sites along the Batten and Skeet rivers, together with Devonian rocks. It's made up of quartzose, sandstones, and siltstones containing uncommon fossils like trilobites. Its age, on the other hand, is unknown. It sits under and grades into mudstones of the Batten Formation in the Batten River, which are clearly Devonian in age. Throughout the Silurian, the climate remained warm and steady. The Gondwana supercontinent remained positioned above the South Pole, although the late Ordovician ice caps had melted almost completely. The temperature of tropical waters may have generated intense storms, according to sediments formed from large amounts of shattered shells. Earth's continents fused together during the Silurian era, sealing the Iapetus Ocean and producing two supercontinents, Laurasia in the north and Gondwana land in the south. The Gondwana plates of South America and Southern Africa migrated slowly toward and then over the South Pole. During this period, the northern continents began to converge and form Laurasia. As the continent warmed, glaciers declined and virtually vanished. Warm shallow oceans covered much of the tropical landmass. 
During the period, there were significant global sea level shifts and oceanic turnovers, meaning exchanges of bottom and surface waters, resulting in a moderate number of extinctions. The Silurian period concluded with a succession of small extinctions caused by such climatic change. If you enjoyed the video, like, share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in another interesting video soon, meanwhile keep supporting. Thank you.